Diana. I have a dance channel here. But today, I am getting ready to, to dance soon now. But today I just wanted to make a small contribution to the Flat Earth community. Uh, I feel like it is my obligation to pass along truth, information. And uh, so today I'm going to make a small, a short video. Uh, I don't want to get into too much right now. I just want to maybe make a series of short videos rather than, you know, one long drawn out one. I'm not really used to talking in front of the camera anyway, so. Uh, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'll just tell you a little bit about my experience. And uh, it started when a friend of mine on Facebook uh, sent me a message. Um, his name is Matt Dahl. Matt Dahl Thomas, and uh, he asked me if I had heard of the Flat Earth Theory, and I guess some, something told him inside that I would be open and um, I would look into it, and uh, I did. So I do want to thank you, Matt, for that, and uh, this was the end of October, and since that point, I had been looking at the Earth, Flat Earth Theory, well, theory, I don't know if it's theory right now, I think it's true. And uh, that day he told me I was on the computer from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed. And then all day the next day. And I was obsessed, like he said he was obsessed. So um, I, uh, I continued my search and uh, I also noticed that I would get, I, I made comments on some videos that I watched and people were like really rude and calling me a dumbass and uneducated and and I was crazy and flat earth people are crazy and I'm like what are you talking about we all are educated in the earth the globe earth we all are and we've been indoctrinated and it's been drummed into our heads that we live on a globe from the time you know we go to school and some of us have gone well beyond, you know, the average education. Uh, college, you know, I know myself, uh, physical geography. I mean, I'm, I'm educated. Yes, of course. Yes, of course we were taught about the Earth, the globe Earth. Of course. Astronomy. I studied astronomy in college. Yes, I have a Master of Fine Arts degree. Uh, yes, I majored in art, but I uh, had to fulfill requirements in math, science, studies in civilization, you name it. Um, so this is one of my, I mean, I was a science buff as a kid. I mean, I love science. In fact, um, my, uh, my greatest joy when I was a kid was my, when my dad bought me the, um, the How My Wonder books. So I was into it. And of course, it stayed with me. I became an artist. I mean, because I, I guess I'm uh, so creative and it just overpowered, you know, my science love. So anyway, uh, yes, uh, astronomy. I did very well in astronomy. I had a uh, very high average and I didn't have to take the final exam. I practically memorized this book. Uh, look. Moons? Saturn moons? I mean, we have photographs? Really? Come on. <laughs> we don't have a photograph of the Earth. But they're, you know, this is full of these facts about our universe. And so this is what this puzzled me because we don't have a, a photograph of the Earth. We have CGI. We have composites. Uh, but we've got these amazing photographs of moons, and we know the atmosphere. We know the we know the we know what they're made of. I mean, we know the, we have pictures of the surfaces. I mean, really. So, yeah, we are educated. Um, yes, we uh, we do know what's going on, and thankfully, some people have questioned what's going on with this globe Earth and space and what's going on in outer space I mean, I mean things aren't aren't uh jiving they're just not jiving in fact i feel like right now this book is 
full of malarkey. So maybe I could get a refund. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to make a couple points. And uh, uh, there's one other point I want to make before I close is that uh, we're told that we can measure or see the curve of the earth from where we're standing, basically. You know, if things drop off the curve, we can't see them anymore. And based on our height of how far we can see, and someone sent me an app calculator uh, online showing, you know, based on my height where it starts to drop, you know, where the curve starts and what you can't see anymore. But um, it's the way I see it is if you can measure a curve from where you're standing, basically, uh, why can you not measure a curve in space? Now, I've seen photographs of flat Earth in space, and there is no curve to measure. And that's, I mean, if you could measure here in some way, why can't we measure out there? Um, and not, or why can't we see a curve from space, in space? And when you do see a curve, it's basically because we're using a uh, fish island. So, uh, to me, that calculator proved <laughs> that the Earth is flat. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for today, and maybe I'll make a series, I don't know yet, but I do want to make a contribution, and thanks for watching. And I'm going to go dance now, because that's really my thing.